So here we go guys, rich, spicy tom yum noodle soup with dumplings, prawns and all the flavour you could want. Yes! Okay guys, so we're pretty much like combining three of my very favourite things in the whole world. Thai tom yum soup, chewy noodles, dumplings. Ah, what could be better? I'm so excited. Okay, so we're going to make our tom yum soup from scratch. It's super easy. Just wait and see. Okay, so I have these spicy bird's eye chilies. And you've got to go spicy with tom yum. It's not a proper Thai tom yum soup without the real kick of spice. So these are bird's eye chilies. Whatever are really spicy chilies in your area, use those ones. I'm going with about five or six here. Yes, it's going to be hot. Now I want to bruise these up. Now the great thing about using a mortar and pestle is that you don't just chop through the chili, you're actually releasing and smooshing out, and that's a technical term I'm sure, smooshing out all the beautiful oils and aromas from the chili. So there is method to using this particular mortar and pestle technique. Okay, so you don't want this too fine. This is the sort of thing that you're looking for. And just put that into a bowl for a bit later. So now for our aromatics. The thing that I love about this soup is it's pure magic. You're literally turning water into something that tastes amazing. I've got a pot of water simmering and then to that I need to add some lemongrass. And you just want to bruise that with the bottom of your knife and then cut it into battens. Okay, now that goes into our water. So I've just got that on a low heat. And then the other crucial ingredient is galangal. You're going to need a special trip to your Asian grocer for this one. But this is what it looks like. Let me compare it to ginger for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Galangal has a little bit of a pink tinge to the edges of it. You can see that the ginger is a lot browner in colour, a lot darker. And galangal has a much more like pine wood citrus kind of aroma and flavour. So you really can't substitute ginger for this. You're going to have to go for the real thing. The great news is that this freezes really easily. So if you get a hold of some, put it in your freezer. Okay, now they go into the water as well. And our final aromatic is kaffir lime leaves. Now you just need to take the stem out of the middle of those. These also freeze really well. So if you are doing a trip, grab a whole bunch of these and keep them in your freezer too. Okay, and the trick here is to grab a hold of your leaves and smush them all together. That will start releasing all of the flavor and the aroma. Now, I just want to let this come up to a simmer until I can smell all those beautiful aromatics. So a couple of minutes in there. Okay, so now let's talk about mushrooms. So the traditional Thai mushroom is called het phang. In English, we call it straw mushroom. Kind of looks like this guy. And when you slice it open, you'll see this is the texture inside. If you can't get a hold of these, but mushrooms will do just fine. And then we also want some cherry tomatoes. Our vegetables are done. Let's talk about chili paste. Now I'm using a traditional Thai chili paste. It's called Nam Prik Pao. It's a roasted red chili paste. It kind of has this jammy consistency. It's got things like shallots and garlic and tamarind and yummy stuff in it. So you can grab this from an Asian grocer or you can check out my YouTube channel and make it from scratch yourself. Up to you. Anyway, so that goes into our water which is now smelling beautifully aromatic and then we also want those pounded chilies already I'm loving this spicy color and then another ingredient that might surprise you guys I'm going to use evaporated milk so there are two types of tom yum in Thailand there's nam sai and nam khon nam khon is the one that's creamy and you can use coconut milk but actually most restaurants use evaporated milk so there you go a little restaurant tip for you so I'm going to add a couple of spoonfuls of that now our prawns and the mushrooms and tomatoes. Now just let everything come up to a simmer. I want those prawns to cook. I want all those flavors to marry together into a really beautiful spicy soup. Okay, our soup is looking good. Now the final stage of making a tom yum is the most important. It's the seasoning stage. So first up we want some limes and you just wanna push down on those so that you're crushing the inside. You can get the most amount of juice as possible. And now what I like to do with this seasoning stage is make sure that my soup is off the heat so it's not gonna boil anymore. If I keep boiling this after I add the lime juice, it kind of dilutes the tanginess if you like. You don't get that fresh hit of lime. Now the other part of the seasoning for this at the end is your fish sauce and your sugar. So you have limes, fish sauce, sugar. So these three things are almost like your salt and pepper that you would have in Western cooking. You're going to use all three to finish off and round out the flavours of this soup. So add your lime juice in and the end flavour here 
should be predominantly spicy and tangy and then just a little bit salty and a tiny little touch of sweetness. So we've got our tangy, I'm gonna add my fish sauce for the salty and then just a little dash of sugar first. I can always add more but I can't take it out so I won't put it all in. And here's where we taste because depending on your chili paste or depending on how sour the limes are in your region or what fish sauce you're using, you might need more of any of those things. So let's have a taste. Mm. Mm. Oh, tangy and spicy, love it. Okay, I need a little bit more lime juice for my taste. Okay, let's see how we're going. Mmm, yep, that's it. Really tangy, salty, spicy, all the good things. Okay, let's get onto our dumplings. So this is totally an optional extra, but you know, why not go all out if you're gonna make something from scratch? So I'm gonna make some really simple pork wonton dumplings to go in my noodle soup. Got some pork mince. I want a little bit of white pepper, some fish sauce. A little bit of water. I always find adding some moisture into a dumpling mix keeps it a bit softer on the inside. And then a little smattering of garlic. And now here's the key. You wanna vigorously mix this until we see the pork get really nice and sticky. Now, this is as easy as plonking a fair bit of pork into the center of a wonton wrapper. Grab some water, fold it over. I like my wonton guys to be quite full and fat. Who doesn't like a fat dumpling? Okay, and that goes straight into some boiling water. So let those dumplings just simmer away until they're cooked through. And now it's time to serve everything up, my favorite part. So we've got some noodles here. I'm using some fresh Chinese egg noodles. You could use whatever noodles that you like. And then just pour over some of that spicy soup. And now your wontons, just slide those on top. And of course, because you know, you can't have a good bowl of noodle soup, I think without an egg. So I'm gonna pop an egg on there as well. And just a few little bits of coriander. And there you have it guys, one spicy bowl of heaven. Ah, so good. Mm. The noodle slurp, you gotta do it guys. Ah, 